today I will be sharing the recipe of Malai Kofta. This is one of the most ordered vegetarian dishes in restaurants. Soft and succulent pieces of koftas that are made from Indian cottage cheese or paneer and with a very nice rich creamy gravy. So this recipe surely calls for a try when you want to have something special, especially on your vegetarian days. So try this out and let me know how it turned out. Sous Food Corner special Malai Kofta. Hey guys, I am Subhankari and I welcome you all to my channel Sous Food Corner. I hope you all are doing great in your lives and if you are new to my page, you subscribe to my page and do not forget to tap the bell button and thank you all for loving my channel so much and liking my videos so much. So let's begin with this awesome recipe. As I am making this recipe without onion garlic, so we first need to make the gravy. For that I have heated oil 2 tablespoon in a pan and add some whole dry spices, cinnamon 1 inch, 1 black cardamom, 2 green cardamom cloves 2 and black pepper corns 5 to 6. These whole spices will give a nice flavor to our gravy and after a few seconds I will add 5 large sized tomatoes and I have just cut them roughly and to it I have added ginger 1.5 inch, green chili 1 and cashews 10 to 12. I need to roast them on medium flame for around 3 to 4 minutes and after roasting them in open flame for around 3 to 4 minutes I will just cover them and let it cook uh, for around 10 to 12 minutes till this tomato soften. So basically this is the base or gravy. After sauteing for 3 to 4 minutes now I have reduced the flame and covered it and let it simmer in its own heat for around 10 to 12 minutes and after 10 to 12 minutes you can see the tomatoes have already softened you can see from the texture and this is the time when you need to switch off the flame you can see the tomatoes have nicely softened and now we'll wait till it cools down and then we'll just blend it to make a very fine puree so we'll wait and make a puree out of it and for the koftas in a bowl I have taken two medium sized potatoes they are boiled and grated paneer or cot Indian cottage is 200 grams to it I will add 1 tablespoon of grated ginger green chilies 2 to 3 finely chopped some chopped coriander salt to taste 1 4 teaspoon of sugar and corn flour 2 tablespoon and to give the punch I have added chaat powder 1 tablespoon green chili and ginger will give a very nice flavor to this mixture so give them a nice mix till they come to the shape and size of your dough and now I will just remove 1 tablespoon of this uh, mixture, keep it in a separate bowl and to make the stuffing I will add some raisins 2 tablespoon, chopped cashews 2 tablespoon and Kashmiri red chilli powder around 1 teaspoon and give them a mix. This will act as a stuffing inside our kofta. So this is the mixture that we had prepared for the kofta, the initial mixture. First I will just mold them in this way and divide it in two portions so that I can nicely make them to a cylindrical shape in this way. So just press the edges and roll them out in this way. It attains a nice shape and this will help to cut the koftas in the same size and shape. So this is done and yes do not forget to apply some oil before you roll them out. This will make it more smooth. So apply some oil on the plate and in hands and then roll them out and now I will cut around 1 cm thick pieces from this uh, dough ball and yes it's looking nice uniformly done in the same way the second one I'll roll it out and cut them so here I have prepared the base of the koftas and now in the same way the stuffing I'll divide it in equal amount as the number of kofta balls this will make our work more organized and more easier so now I'll apply some oil to my hands and take one ball in this way and start pressing it basically we just need to make a small pinch or small space in the center first i'll give them round shape in this way by rolling them between my palms and then i'll press gently in the center and add one stuffing this stuffing i had made this goes inside center and now i'll slightly give pressure and press it inside and seal the edges and then again i'll just press them between my palms so that this gains a nice round shape you can also make them oval but I have made here round so this is how it looks my kofta ball is ready so I will place them on the plate so in the same way I will make all the kofta balls and you can see these are medium sized balls and if you are making oval one you can make a little larger so oval shape depends upon your choice but I have made the round one so my kofta balls are done we need to dust them with corn flour but that will do just before frying. Meanwhile my tomatoes had cooled down so I had just blended them nicely to a smooth puree and now it's time to strain the puree so that 
uh, if any residue is left of the whole spices that will be drained down and we will give it a nice silky gravy like that we get in restaurants and see this is what I got. We need to discard this and this gravy is looking lovely and to temper this I have heated a pan in lowest flame and once heated on low flame I will add 2 tablespoons of oil and 2 tablespoons of clarified butter, 2 bay leaves and at low flame I will add turmeric powder half teaspoon, red chilli powder 1 teaspoon, coriander powder 1 tablespoon and cumin powder 1 teaspoon and to give the nice color cosmic red, red chilli powder 1 tablespoon make sure you roast this all spices on low flame otherwise it might burn and this will change the color of the gravy and once it's done uh, nicely tempered for few seconds I'll add the gravy give them a mix and now I'll add around half a cup or 3 fourth cup of water depending upon the gravy but normally this gravy has a semi thick consistency and now I'll add salt to taste some sugar around 1 teaspoon you can also add honey at this stage to sweeten because normally the gravy of koftas has a little sweet flavor and this will always balance the flavor and now I'll cover it and let it simmer for around 10 minutes on medium high flame and meanwhile we need to fry our kofta so I have taken a corn flour around 3 to 4 tablespoon and I will just dust this kofta balls in this way before frying. So all these balls I will dust it and for frying I have taken a flat fry pan and heated some oil on medium flame. Make sure you heat the oil on medium flame. So this is done and this oil is heated on medium flame you can see it is slightly bubbling that means the temperature is dust perfect. If the temperature should be higher they would instantly change color we do not want that we want the upper surface would be nice crispy. So for that we need to fry this kofta balls on medium high flame and you can see after uh, around 3 to 4 minutes I have just carefully flipped this kofta balls in this way and they are nicely frying. I have the coating of the corn flour that we had made will ensure that this kofta balls will not stick to the pan and yes the flat surface in which I am frying this also helps and if you are frying in a kadhai or pan make sure you just stir the oil so that the kofta balls move in the oil round and round so that they won't st uh, stick to the bottom and this will take around 5 to 6 minutes on medium high flame to be nicely crispy from outside and once these are done we will serve them but we will not add this kofta balls to our curry we will add the curry or gravy to our kofta balls. So this will take more 3 to 4 minutes and yes they are done you can see how lovely color they had attained nice golden color and this I will take them out very nice and very tasty this kofta balls had turned out. So this is it my kofta balls are done here and now it is time to check up on our gravy and our gravy is nicely simmering on medium flame for around 5 to 6 minutes and all the flavors have nicely mixed together and now it is time to give the final touch for that I have taken a cream around 3 tablespoon this goes into this gravy this will make them more rich and more silky and to complete this gravy for flavoring I will add dry fenugreek leaves around 1 teaspoon I have just roasted them on low flame. So these are nice fragrant fenugreek leaves or kasuni methi half teaspoon goes here and my final touch sauce food corner is 1 teaspoon of butter this actually adds to the jink give them a mix taste for sugar and salt and it is ready switch off the flame and now it is time to serve our malai kofta. So to serve in the perfect restaurant style way or the perfect way I will first take a nice serving plate and then place my lovely fried kofta balls. So this is it I am placing my kofta balls and then I will add the gravy and this kofta balls will soak the goodness of the gravy and will become nice soft and succulent. Never place the kofta balls in the pan just do the opposite and some cream goes on top and this is it. My malai kofta is ready goes best with naan or roti or pulao also does wonders for this dish. There are many varieties of making malai kofta but this one is special because I have not used any onion garlic and yes there is also a white gravy kofta some day I surely share the recipe and if you want to have something nice and tangy yet special on your vegetarian dish try this recipe and let me know how it turned out and now it's time for the comment of the day today's comment of the day is from smita senapati she writes i like the way you talk full of confidence also all the foods are so yummy i am following you when you have only 50 subscribers 
and thank you so much smita i just love this words and this is what matters to me thank you so so much for all your support stay safe and stay connected and for today's recipe that's classic restaurant style malai kofta that too without onion and garlic so if you want to have something exotic in vegetarian dishes try this out and yes you can also follow sous food corner instagram and facebook and if you have liked today's video do give a thumbs up share with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe to my page see you in next video till then stay safe love life and happy fooding <laughs>